Hey guys, so I actually wanted to show off some uh, some vice grips I picked up here, or uh, locking pliers as they call them, tissue, Kleenex, potato, potato. Um, so it actually all started, I was in uh, AutoZone and I picked up these, uh, I, I think these are just old stock, these are the old uh, chrome ones. All they had was the weird parrot nose pliers here, um, but these are actually made by Great Neck Saul and they sell them under the moniker Duralast here, uh, made in Taiwan. And the coolest feature about these, which I really like, is most vice grips just have a knurled, uh, you know, knob here to tighten everything up. This not only has the knurled knob, but it has a 13 millimeter outer, so you can get in there with that. And, and it has a female quarter in here, so you can use any quarter drive, you know, ratchet extension, swivel. I mean, whatever you need. If you got a vice grip up there and you got to tighten it but it's in such a hard place and you can really torque down too and uh, I had never seen this feature on any vice grips before that that I had so I uh, looked into OEM tools because they're also made by Great Neck Saw so I actually saw these on Amazon and this is a seven piece set here so you can see they actually come in a nice little foam tray which is pretty nice I mean the box the presentation very impressive. Now the foam tray is awesome. It could fit in your toolbox. If you had one to fit it, I don't, but I will be surely saving the uh, foam cutout for, you know, for organizing it later down the road here. So this actually comes with seven vice grips here. You can see we have the regular style um, for regular bolts. Unfortunately, they don't have any of the total flat jaws. Um, they all have that uh, open middle but we have the needle nose vice grips and we have, like I said, the regular ones. So you get four of the regular vice grips here and then three of the needle nose. And now, like I said, these all have the quarter on the bottom here. I think this is such a cool feature because I've already used it a little bit uh, to really clamp down on something. I had a, I had broken, it was like a, a grade 10 fastener holding something down. I will say so far I'm really impressed and uh, I think I paid about $50, $60 here. And, I mean, it might seem excessive to have seven vice grips, but, uh, you know, my grandma always said you can never have enough vice grips, and I, I live by those words. But, uh, seriously, I mean, if these, uh, you know, help you out in a pinch one day, it's totally worth it. And that combined with the fact that uh, the seven tens, like, these sizes here seem pretty common to find, but I have never seen a four-inch set or a, uh, I don't even think I've seen a five-inch set really for sale locally anywhere. So I'm actually really keen on these little tiny ones. You can see just how little that is. That's a four inch there. So the funny thing is, obviously the uh, the set screws are gonna get a little smaller as they go down. So once you finally get down to the four inches, uh, they obviously can't have a quarter in there and it's not a 13 outer. But what they do have is, uh, I believe this is a Phillips head number two here that you can still torque down on. So you don't lose that feature which is really great because the knurled knob, it's nice, but if you need a vice grip to use your vice grips, uh, uh, it seems sort of pointless to me. So I thought this was just such a cool feature that I'd never ever seen before. And uh, I mean, I basically just had to have them. But I believe these are guaranteed for life. Uh, I really have not, you know, gone through that process with OEM tools, so I can't attest to that. But they do have a lot of these little sets they're selling in these green uh, shadow boxes. I think it's really, it's a really nice. nice set. Some of them seem to be a little bit much. Um, these are completely made in Taiwan, which is nice. Taiwan tools, I mean, a lot of them seem to have some good quality if, if you look carefully. Uh, these obviously come a little oiled up during shipping, you know, so they don't rust out. And so, uh, you know, you can use them properly. I mean, they have to be lubricated just a little bit. So some of it bleeds on to this, you know, this neon green foam here. Honestly, it's not a big deal to me. It's going to happen regardless. I've had it happen to other sets um, that have this similar foam uh, shadow type layout. But I'm a huge fan of these organizers. If you can fit it in your box, that's awesome. Um, if you can't, maybe you can later down the road. But I just love to see, you know, what's missing. And if I left something under the hood, I'm just going to know because I'll immediately look at this box and see the empty cutout there. So for the organization alone, I mean, I think it's it's worth the money. So. I got the whole set for around 50 or 60 bucks, I think. So at 60 bucks, that's uh, about, you know, eight, uh, 850 a pop here. 
for the vice grips. And it seems like, you know, everything you'd find in the store is going to be similar. I know some of the Husky ones might be, uh, you can get like three for $10 or whatever in the lifetime warranty, but I'm pretty sure the Husky ones are now all made in China and they have a regular knurled bottom as opposed to this, uh, like I said, this 13 millimeter outer and the, uh, the quarter drive, or in the smaller sizes, uh, the Phillips head two, or the, uh, I guess it's a 10 millimeter and eight millimeter down on these guys. But I just love to see all these cool features I, I never even knew existed, um, you know, let alone would actually be helpful to me when I'm working on things. I'll put a link down in the description below if you, uh, you know, if you wanna check these out yourself. But thanks for watching, guys. Definitely uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe if you wanna see any more uh, tool reviews or anything new I've got coming out. Thanks, guys. Come on, come on. Give me some rounded knots. Give me some rounded knots.